Parkdale was formed by a group of settlements within the 1850s, then as a village in 1879, and been part of Toronto since 1889. It was an upper income residential area until the first half of the 20th century, with many notable mansions. The building of the Gardiner Expressway in 1955 changed Parkdale dramatically for several reasons. The demolition of the southern section of the neighborhood and the Sunnyside Amusement Park, and also the creation of a barrier between the neighborhood and the north shore of Lake Ontario. Apartment buildings replaced the whole blocks of beautiful homes. Some of the old large residential buildings remain, but many of them were converted into rooming houses. The demographic composition had changed as a higher proportion of lower income and newcomer families arrived. Since the 1960s, Parkdale became a working class neighborhood with a large percentage of low income households concentrated in the south area and an entry point for new immigrants. raise a major concern for community activists and the members they are serving. Okay, so in my opinion, the rooming housing situation in Parkdale at the present moment, um, so it can be affordable. Um, when tenants do pay their rent, they barely do have anything left over to do anything else in the month. Um, I find that the waiting list has gotten longer because people are actually looking for housing. And um, also, um, I find that two tenants have to share a room and they have to pay the same amount for rent, which I think, in my opinion, is not fair. So, yeah, that's my opinion of the green housing situation in Parkdale. Is that when like, you got the accident? Uh, yeah, a uh, bus hit me yeah. and then I ended up in the hospital for two days, I think. And then uh, I was in Conchin yeah. when when I woke up. And then the next thing he said, you, you, you get transferred uh, right beside the hospital. Uh -huh. yeah. Home care. It's a home, it's a home care that uh, where you are now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you are looking for a, a permanent room? Yeah, that's it. Is it, uh, is it difficult or uh, easy to find in Parkdale area? Well, I didn't find any yet. I don't know if it's hard, but I, I served the paper. And when they notice uh, I, I, I can't pay cash, I said I can't pay cash, then it's like they're closing the door. How long have you been looking for? Now I've been in uh, home care there. For, How long have you been looking for uh, a room? Yeah, I've been in the home care or looking for three or four months now. Three or four months? Yeah. Oh my God, and uh, you're still looking for um, affordable housing? Yeah, that's it.
dream, a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life worth living I dream that love would never die I dream that God would be forgiving That I was young and unafraid There was no ransom to be paid No song on song, no one untasted But the tigers come at night With their voices soft as thunder As they tear your hope apart As they tear your dreams to Slept a summer by my side She filled my days with endless wonder She took my childhood in her stride But she was gone when autumn came And still I dreamed she would come to me But there are dreams that cannot be yeah. There are storms we cannot weather mm -hmm. I had a dream my life would be So different from this hell I'm living So different now than what it seems Now life has killed so when we get the applications for housing through here, often the person actually filled it out years previously. So the first thing that I do is screen it and, and call all the numbers in the application, try to track down the person that filled it out, people that helped them. And sometimes it's really hard to find them. It's kind of part detective work. So sometimes they, they filled out this form eight years ago. They've been on a waiting list for that long for a single bedroom in a boarding home in Toronto. And um, then when we do get a hold of the person, we have to go over this type of housing. Is this the style that you wanted? Because often when they apply through the access point, they, they really don't know what, what type of housing they'll be offered down the road, you know? And in that moment, things may change. When they learn they might have to share a bedroom with a stranger, that's very hard for them to hear, typically. That often ends the conversation. I've been told I'd rather live in a shelter with 40 men than share a bedroom with a stranger. Other times people are so grateful to have anything to be off the street, they'll, they'll, they'll try anything. So my, uh, what I do is I try to help them get in, you know, move their things, get a case manager, get some support, show them the houses, see if it's a good fit for them, try to keep them housed. Sometimes people are have a lot of issues that are making it harder to live communally live in a structured environment and they're not used to it after being on the street for a long time. The Parkdale community today is one of the hippest areas with stores, restaurants, bars, and high-rise condominiums. New projects are erecting their signs everywhere. The City of Toronto has put in planning controls due to the increasing of new restaurants and bars and the dropping number of affordable housing for low-income families. We don't know how and what will happen in the next 5 or 10 years, but for sure it will never be the same as what we see today.